Is mold toxicity something you had a, an issue with in terms of your own health? I've had multiple run-ins with mold. <laughs> so I had, um, so I'm, I, I was a chemical engineer before I went to medical right. school, so I really love learning and um, finding out what the latest technology is. So um, I guess it's been about nine years ago now, I went to an environmental health conference just to see what I could learn about it. And one of the topics that they talked about was mold. And I was like, hmm, this is really interesting. I might be, might be missing it in some of my patients, so I need to learn about this. And so I'd started learning about it and I had missed a couple patients. There was um, one in particular that really stands out where she was losing her hair and she was having night sweats and it was too early for menopause and um, her whole family wasn't feeling well, but she was kind of the canary, she was the sickest. And it turned out that they had built a new house and the windows were leaking just enough that there was mold behind the the, um, the paint, you couldn't actually okay. see it, but when we investigated further, every window in the house had a little mold around it, so it was making them all sick. So I was like, oh, okay, this is really something um, important that I can really help my patients with. And then I got really sick. It turned out I had a, a hidden leak in my house and then one in my office at the same time, so I got a double whammy. Mm -hmm. I got extremely sick. I was really, really scared. Um, the the mold that I was exposed to the worst is one that I, I consider being like kryptonite for Superman. It's called chitomium. Mm -hmm. And um, my right hand was so weak that I would sometimes drop glasses if they were full. It was really hard to, to carry things. And then my hair was falling out like crazy. By the end of the weekend when I should have been restored and ready to go, I could hardly get out of bed. Um, I just had so much pain in my body. My boys were young at that time that if they gave me a big hug, it would be painful. And uh, I, w it, I did all the things that um, I knew to do. I reached out to my functional medicine doctors. I, I consulted the experts in you know, allopathic medicine. I went to a neurologist. I went to an infectious disease specialist. <laughs> I went to a hand specialist. I was just, you know, no, um, stone unturned and I'd been really sick before that's when I made the transition to from chemical engineering to um, to decide to go to medicine is when I had to figure things out for myself and get on the right path but at that point in time I had no idea that it was well making me yeah. sick but one of my patients who's really intuitive she had come in she has kind of a table like this where um, in my office, she, she was doing great from her chemical sensitivity. And years ago, she had actually been sick from mold. And here I thought I looked fine. I, you know, the appointment was going well and I, you know, hair done, like everything tucked in. <laughs> I thought I was hiding how sick I was really well. But she leaned across the table from me and she was like, Dr. Shippy, I think you have mold. What time do you get off work? And she actually came to my house and within a few minutes of being in my house, she was so sick, she had to run out because her body was still very sensitive to that kind of mold. So really grateful to her. And then at that point in time, there was very little about how to actually get well from it. And then I learned some from my patients and applying my functional medicine background, but I got to learn so much about how to help people fully recover mm -hmm. from mold toxicity. So from it. I guess the next question is how do you recover from, from mold toxicity you know, outside of removing it from where you are? I mean, how do you, you know, take care of the body? Well, that's the biggest thing is getting, getting to a safe place because it's, there's multiple factors so that there's the direct environmental toxin and then there's immune system response. So it's very, very challenging if you're trying to, to get well if you don't get in a pretty clean environment and eliminate, eliminate as many toxins as you can. Um, so, so that's, I can't underestimate how important that is. Uh, and then um, a really, really nutritious diet because we need uh, very dense nutrients to be able to help us to detoxify as well as to do the rebuilding. So I recommend um, what I call a modified paleo diet. So lots and lots of vegetables, um, the healthiest proteins that you can find in kind of condiment amounts, and then um, some really good, good fats like avocado and olives, and eliminate the gluten, the dairy, the really inflammatory foods. 
and um, and that's that starts to build a really good foundation. And then we have to look at the gut. We need to make sure that the microbiome is really healthy because the mold toxins interfere with the the bacterial and fungal balance in the body. So mm -hmm. we need to make sure that we're doing probiotics and healing the gut. Uh, and then we have to open up the spigot. So we have to help the body to get rid of the toxins that have built up in the body. So things like liposomal glutathione. I use some binders like um, like really good forms of charcoal and clay and, and modified citrus pectin. And, um, and then also build up the mitochondria. So the mitochondria really get damaged. So the mitochondria are the little organelles inside the cells that make energy. So they need to be fed. So things like CoQ10 and carnitine, D-ribose. And then one of my favorite things is phosphatidylcholine that really helps to rebuild cell membranes. Mm -hmm. So it, it can be very uh, comprehensive. And then some people need actual testing to look and see what they're deficient in and to find out what their genetics are on on how well they detoxify and and then one of the big areas when people don't get well from just doing those things is to really look at methylation so methylation is one of the ways that we do our repair and help to clear our toxins and a lot of times it's the people who get sick the quickest in environmental toxins and especially in mold that do have the genetic predispositions to not eliminate the toxins as, as quickly mm -hmm.